Welcome to a new vlog. Today we're gonna be testing and comparing thermally conductive uh, double-sided tape to other solutions like uh, thermally conductive adhesive, uh, silicon pads or even regular double-sided tape to see how effective these uh, solutions are for transferring heat uh, between an IC and uh, a heat sink. To produce the heat I'm gonna use uh, a small electronic uh, load circuit uh, which will be set for a certain current uh, let's say 100 milliamps or a, a close value that I will find that will give me a um, kind of constant temperature and in theory it should produce the same amount of heat for each run after I set it. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB, a professional manufacturer of printed circuit boards. Their website is modern and has convenient features like easy to use order form with built-in Gerber viewer, production process tracking, package tracking and single button reorder for previous orders without having to upload Gerber files again. Then we're going to be inserting the materials we're testing between the uh, transistor producing the heat and the heat sink. And we're going to be measuring the uh, temperature of the IC and the temperature of the heat sink at the same time. As you can see I have uh, uh, thermocouples glued to the uh, top of the uh, TO247 uh, transistor and uh, also on top of the heat sink. Uh, I've glued the thermocouple using this type of uh, thermally conductive adhesive. I don't have a particularly good way of testing this, but my plan is to heat the uh, transistor to a uh, stable temperature, uh, something like 50 or 60 degrees Celsius, while the heatsink is kept at uh, room temperature. And then what I'm gonna do is uh, connect the uh, two devices using the thermally conductive material that we're testing in between them. I'm going to be using uh, this clamp to hold them uh, together. Hopefully this will uh, provide the uh, uh, same pressure uh, each time we test this. And uh, then we're going to be seeing, we're going to be measuring how fast the uh, heatsink uh, gets approximately to the same temperature as our uh, transistor. And if uh, that time span is shorter or longer will depend on the um, uh, thermal resistance between the body of the transistor and the body of the heatsink. And that is highly dependent on the uh, thermal conductivity of the material used between them. And I'm hoping we can use that to compare between these uh, different materials. Unfortunately, my uh, thermometer does not have any data logging capability. So I'm gonna to have to keep track of the uh, values manually. So as you probably noticed already, this is not very scientific, but it should give us some uh, good reference values. I'm hoping good enough for uh, comparing between these different solutions. And this uh, whole story and idea about testing these started when I got some of these um, double-sided uh, thermally conductive uh, adhesive tape. I was wondering, does it really have any thermally conductive properties or is it just regular double-sided tape and our Chinese friends are looking for ways to maximize profits? Because I got this from AliExpress and you can't really be sure of stuff you get from there because it doesn't have a data sheet, it doesn't, have, it doesn't come with any specs. So I hope this test will answer my question. So let's get started with our first material. To save you the trouble of watching all the five separate tests, I've run them all and done some editing to display all five in parallel. The speed of the video is uh, 3x and as you will see on video, the thermal paste is the first to equalize temperature between the uh, transistor and heatsink down to about 1 degree Celsius difference. The second one was the uh, thermal adhesive uh, silicone stuff, uh, the white paste. And the third one was the uh, thermally conductive pad. The thermal double-sided tape as well as the normal double-sided tape performed equally worse and after two minutes there was still two or three degrees Celsius of difference between the heatsink and transistor. You could say that the thermal adhesive tape was slightly better but due to the measurement method I used I can't consider that small difference relevant. 
So my conclusion is to avoid using that thermally conductive double-sided tape unless you don't really need efficient cooling. As we saw in the test, it's not conclusively better than just plain simple adhesive tape. But maybe your device is not that hot, you don't need efficient cooling and in that case you can get away with such a tape which doesn't have a low thermal resistance. Otherwise, for devices that you really need to keep cool as efficient as possible, use the classical thermal paste or thermal adhesive where you don't have other mounting options. That was all for today. I hope this video will be useful in choosing the right solution for your project. As usual, I am interested in hearing what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. You will find links in the description below to all of the items shown in this video. Until next time, stay subscribed and hit that like button or the dislike button. I don't mind that.